Good Thursday morning, everyone. Hey, we're having a great week. I'm glad you're joining us. We're going through what are some of my favorite inspiration for today's shows of 2022. Looking forward to another good year that's coming up right away. But today we're going to go back to one of my favorites again. And it's the show we did on the Aquadets. This is an amazing group of gals who, in their senior years, are still performing and swimming. If you've ever tried to do synchronized swimming in any form, you know how difficult it is. I was a swimmer when <laughs> back in my high school days, uh, but I could never do what these girls do. And so I know you'll enjoy it when we talk about the upcoming shows. Our upcoming shows for the Aquadets will be next year. But I love this show and I love the patriotic ending that they put into, we're putting into this show, but they put into the end of their shows. And so may you be blessed by all of this today. And I'll see you again tomorrow. The Aquadets are back. And it's been, hasn't it been a couple of years? This is, by the way, this is Bunny and Kim. Kim is the president and and Bunny is the coach. So you're back, right? We are back. Mm -hmm. Back and in full force. It's I think so it'll awesome. be our best show ever. I think so too. I think it is. And so we, we always have a verse for the day. And actually, Bunny gave me this verse, but I'm going to read it for you, Bunny. Now, Hebrews 11 one says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And I feel like you guys express your faith that this could happen again. We started this year and um, we had some, you know, because of COVID, there were some people, old souls that were not with us anymore. So we kind of had to recreate the whole year with just between ourselves and, um, you know, there were times when people were saying, oh, we can't do this, but, but we pray and we know, we know that God would see us through and that we would get this done. And we're just really thrilled to have the show go on. I love it. And the Aquadets, some, some people may not even know, can you, Bunny, can you just tell us what are the Aquadets? Well, it's a, a team, a synchronized swim team, now artistic swim team that started back in 1965. And I believe it was some lifeguards had gotten together to do a, a show and it just took off and it's been going since then. They've kept it up. There's been at times where there's been almost or more than 30 members on the team. Um, and it's been as little as seven members when they performed a show. So they really have just really gone through the hard times and stuck with it. I have never met such a dedicated, committed group of women outside of our practices, which are two days a week. They're there three other days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Wow. They also come. And often when they're on vacation, they find a pool to swim mm -hmm. in so they can practice. See, friends, that's what I wanted to get across. This is not easy. And it's, it's a lot of work and practice. And the show... Wow. Eight, eight, eight routines this year. Um, and we're really excited. We've got tw uh, 14 swimmers, yes. 14 total swimmers. Um, uh, so it's uh, got two, two, three big numbers. So always our beginning number and our, our finale is big. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful sculling number that we've been working on, gosh, for probably most of the year. Mm -hmm. So friends, I, the, I just love it. It lasts at least, an, is it an hour, would you say or something like that? It's about an hour and a half at the intermission uh, and uh, okay. surprises. Yeah, we have some surprises. So, um, All right. Well, not, do yeah. not tell us that. Okay. <laughs> so it's Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. It's at pool. What one. pool is that? Pool one. Pool Clubhouse one. one. Okay. And so how do we get tickets? Well, they can email us at the Aquadots, Aquadets, sorry, at gmail.com. And it's at seven o'clock on those nights, but you can get your tickets in advance. 
and uh, it's fifteen dollars, which is a that's a bargain, friends, compared <laughs> with what even the performances at the PAC at the clubhouse wow. old clubhouse three. This is a bargain. It's so entertaining, and you guys. Oh, and where at the community center? The recreation department or recreation office. There. Okay, okay, that's important. So if they ask the the person in the lobby, they'll direct them if they don't know. Okay, so I hope to see everyone out there. You guys are getting famous, even more. Well, you've been famous for a long time, but isn't there a documentary now being done on you guys? Yes. There is. It started um, pre-COVID. Um, and uh, Taryn Ho is the woman that will be doing it. She also did The Last Doll Lady, which I'm sure many, many, many of the members of Laguna Hills or Laguna Woods Village yeah. are familiar with. Um, so she's still working on it. Got a couple of loose ends to tie up and we're hoping to see it on PBS yeah. at some point down so the road. You don't want to wait for PBS. You can come out and see them this week. And exactly. I want... I want to see you there. I'm going to, Diane and I are going on Saturday night just because we're out of town the other nights. But anyway, we will, we'll be there. We can't wait. So we're going to close the show by showing one of your great routines. And friends, this is just a sampling. So there'll be eight routines just like, well, not just like this. They're all different. So yes. thanks for being on. Thank, Thank you. you. All these people will see you this week. Yes. Yes. We're looking okay. forward to it. Bye. Bye for now.